I never imagined picking up that script of Oxycontin that I wouldn't be able to stop. I never thought that would happen. I thought I'm, I'm in pain, I'm uncomfortable, I'm sick, like I'm helping myself. I grew up in a good family. I have friends, you know. I never thought that I would seek solace in drugs. Never thought it was a problem. I'd just go to another doctor and they would prescribe it and I just kind of had a supply that way. And then, oh, there was a friend that sold it and I got it that way. And then, oh, well, you know, heroin's pretty much the same thing. I overdosed five times. I mean, I'm really grateful that naloxone was available to me and to the people around me. Um, I would have died without it, for sure. I, I stopped telling people about being in recovery after I had about a year sober, and I just thought, that's my past, nobody needs to know. And then uh, my best friend died of a drug overdose, and that's when I kind of realized I couldn't be quiet anymore. People needed to realize that anyone could be a drug addict, anybody could be a you know person in recovery. It's very overwhelming. There's so many amazing people that have, have died to overdose, and I really wish I could be listening to them tell their story, but they're not here, and I think, you know, I want to share my story, but it does get better. It really does, and I used to hate when people said that to me. I was always waiting on that, like, oh, I'm, you know, two weeks clean and I feel terrible. When does it get better? Somebody says, you know, it just takes time.